Uh, William, you did a lot of traveling. You traveled to South America. You lived in uh, Mexico City, Tangier, or, or London for a long time. Do you think that traveling is um, important for a writer? That it adds to his perspective? Well, generally speaking, yes. But there are writers that don't seem to have any necessity to travel at all. Emily Dickinson, um, Beckett, you don't feel has any need to travel. It's all taking place inside. sense of one-way street. And that affects, uh, that has something to do with time? Well, yes. Me uh, meaning you can't go back? You can't go back. You can only go forward. Well, it, it means that you you can't you, you can't go back beyond uh, any change that involves a biologic mutation. Mm -hmm. I think uh, many of your writings are uh, good teachings in um, how to survive under hostile uh, situations, whatever they may be.
Um, does that have anything to do with your, your appeal for weapons? Well, yes, weapons are uh, certainly one meaning, one way of surviving in a chaotic situation. Generally speaking, of course, the whole matter of flexibility, being able to uh, change and uh, alter your thinking, etc., to accommodate the unfamiliar new situation. So that I would say at the present time, when we have an escalating rate of change, that flexibility is very necessary. Uh, for survival and therefore that all dogmatic ways of thinking are um, counter, counterproductive so far as survival goes. Yes. If you can't change and, th and the, the circumstances change, then where are you? Mm -hmm. Right. You're bound to, you're, to be extinct. Yeah, you're at <clears throat> a disadvantage, a terrible disadvantage. Of course, there's a concept saying which, which is very popular at the moment, if there are no, when there are no weapons, then you have peace automatically, so to speak. But I think that threatens your ability to survive. Well, I think too, I mean, um, what do they mean there now? There are always weapons. <clears throat> right. Even your body, your fists are weapons. Yes, uh, 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 anything that you can pick up, a, a glass or a chair or any bottle.
ci eravamo dati appuntamento alle 10, no? Ti aspettavo dopo cena. L'uomo che ami non c'è più. Cazzo è, siete sconvolti? Oh, che cazzo ci avete da guardare? Oh, stronzi! Andate a farvi fottere! Sono cambiato, allora? Voi siete solo... Cosa c'è che non va? Jim! Ehi, hey, amico! Tutto a posto? Guarda che nessuno ti sta guardando qua, eh? Sei entrato e hai fatto tutto questo casino. Eh? E cioè, sei strano, Jim. Tutto a posto, Jim. Dovete smetterla, ho detto!
Come cazzo è potuto succedere? Come cazzo è potuto succedere, Marco? Cazzo, puttana! Ho sparato io quel corpo, mi ho sparato io! Ho, ho, ho mirato bene, cazzo! Quella stupida carcassa di merda! No, ma non può essere! Non può essere! Non può essere stata un'allucinazione. Non può essere stata un'allucinazione. Adesso che cazzo faccio? Che cazzo faccio?